Since Tuesday is election day, I figure I'd do a review on the Will and Grace reunion election. I've seen it many times on YouTube and I can't get enough of it. Will and Grace are voting for Hillary because they don't care for Trump. Here comes Karen, like she's at a baseball game. Trump, 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 Trump. Do 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 Make America bueno again. <laughs> Karen is no surprise voting for Trump since she and her husband just came back from an early vacation, spending time with her good old friend, Trump. Will hopes Karen doesn't vote for him since he calls people names. Karen looks at Will saying, call people names. She turns to Grace and what Karen said was so funny. She goes, Grace, did you hear what your pussy Muslim gay boyfriend just said? <laughs> oh my goodness. Grace just looks back at Will like, did you hear what she just said out of her mouth? Will was so mad. Pussy gay Muslim boyfriend. Oh my goodness. That just came out of nowhere. That's rich. Grace then talks to Karen about Rosario because the offensive things Trump has said to Mexicans. Will tells Grace that Rosario is not Mexican since she is from El Salvador. Grace is like, what's the difference? <laughs> Rosario is also suing Karen due to her injury ending up in a wheelchair. Karen says she can't sue her since she sent her to college. According to Will, Karen sent her to Trump University where they studied dusting. <laughs> Jack opens the door and he is not happy. I am livid, says Jack as the door comes back and closes on him. Will opens the door. Livid, I say, says Jack. Jack is not happy about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie divorcing the same week his relationship ends, as Jack found it selfish. This was funny when Jack opened and looked inside the refrigerator. After that, he asked, why does everything in there look 10 years old? <laughs> Funny, get it? Since Will and Grace end in 2006, then here they are together 10 years later. Jack was dumped by a guy named Dakota from a text. Grace asks Jack if he's voting for Hillary. Will says of course he is. Jack tells Will not to pigeonhole him since all gays don't think alike. Then all of a sudden they randomly asked each other at the same time if they watched last night's Dance with the Stars. <laughs> Karen thought Jack was voting for Trump, but he never said he would. Karen freaks out. She's like, huh, what, gee, huh? <laughs> Grace asks Jack, who was he voting for? Jack doesn't know, thinking he'll just stay home on December 1st. <laughs> and he pretty much skips to the other side and gets some cookies. Grace looked at Jack so pissed at him, like, uh-uh, uh-uh, you got to vote. Will tells Jack he has to vote as Grace replies saying that it's non-American not to. Jack feels it doesn't matter. Grace continues convincing him why he should vote for Hillary and not Trump. But Jack is like, blah, blah, blah. So then Grace tells Jack a story about when she was growing up, she wanted to be president of the United States someday. But she said that she said it would never happen. And as she was about to give her reasons why, Will and Karen pretty much guessed her reasonings why she thought she would never become president of the United States. And the best part was when Karen was talking about that uh, Grace people killed Jesus. I'm like, what the <laughs> in the world? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's okay. Yeah, that's random. But due to Hillary having a chance to become president of the United States, it pretty much admired and expired Grace to never give up and as she continues to motivate Jack, Jack pretty much starts to see a better light, leading Grace to sing the classic Go Tell on a Mountain song, opera style. Deborah Messing is a beautiful singer. She has such a great opera singing voice. She should do opera on the side. It's too bad Karen interrupted her by pulling her hair. Hey, let the girl sing the Go Tell on a Mountain song opera style, please. She deserves it. Jack starts thinking, but still hasn't heard the one thing that will make him vote the one candidate over the other. Will walks up to Jack, 
grabs him by the shoulders and tells him Katy Perry loves Hillary. Jack for a second doesn't say anything until he says, and bingo was her name-o. <laughs> Grace claps and is so happy. Jack tells Karen, sorry, Care, I'm with her. Karen, of course, was not happy. Then it ends with a saying, hashtag Vo Honey, and then Rosario shows up at the end in a wheelchair. I heard that it's possible Will and Grace will return to NBC next year for a ninth season for 10 episodes. I hope Will and Grace returns to NBC. It is a funny show, especially with Karen and Jack being such a funny dynamic duo. NBC nowadays sucks. Their sitcoms suck and some don't even last long. Their sitcoms today can't even hold the torch of their old sitcoms like Seinfeld, Friends, Frasier, Cheers, The Cosby Show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Blossom, The Golden Girls, Will and Grace, and many more. I believe the comeback of Will and Grace could help NBC a bit. As far as all that, Eric McCormick as uh, Will looks great for his age. Deborah Messing as Grace. That redhead beauty keeps getting more beautiful with age. But what kind of dress is she wearing? A tablecloth napkin dress? Anyways, it fits her character Grace. Megan Mullally definitely looks great at 57. Got the nice boobies. I'm also digging her with red hair. Sean Hayes, he looks great too. You can check out the link in the description box for the Will and Grace reunion election. Next Tuesday, remember to vote. Since we are now in the month of November, this is one bad blood of election debate between Trump and Clinton. Oh boy, this could get messy.